Welcome to Tradespoon. My name is Vlad Karpel. I'm the founder and CEO of Tradespoon. And today I'd like to talk about more complicated option strategies. We have covered calls and puts in the past. Now let's talk about two-legged strategies, such as vertical or what we call debit call spread. Let's take a look. So if you're bullish on the stock, you can trade bullish call spread. And let's talk about key concept. Cold spread allows you cost basis reduction. This is the main reason why you want to trade verticals. If you are bullish on the stock and you don't think that the stock will go higher in a rapid fashion and make a, and a strong move to the upside, but will be moving in the upward momentum, but maybe two to three percent, if you don't anticipate a large rapid move to the upside, you can trade debit call spread. Just keep in mind it is limited in terms of reward and in terms of the requirements and the risk. You execute it when general feeling toward an asset is positive. Trade gives up, trader gives up some upside potential in exchange for chance to recover premium. High probability of success compared to long calls. That is the most important. You have a cost basis reduction, but also you have a higher probability of success than trading calls. So you start trading options, you can trade only puts and calls. Your broker deal might not give you enough rights to trade verticals, but as you get more experience and you understand the concept of probability of success, you want to strive for cost basis reduction. And before, because you buy in a call and you sell an out of the money call in debit call spread, you sell an out of the money with a higher strike price call, you are reducing your cost basis compared to just buying an outright call. If you reduce your cost basis, what does that mean? It means you are increasing probability of being correct. So what is the, let's talk about setup. You sell out of the money call option with a higher strike price. You buy in the money call option with the lowest strike price because you have a bullish bias for underlying asset. You're using the same underlying asset, same contract expiration based analytics accuracy. You want to pick the expiration date that gives you the highest chance of success. And the trade spoon, our analytics predict price movements anywhere from one to 50 days. But based on our research, the best duration for option contracts is anywhere from 50 to 75 days. So when you trade options, if you want the highest probability of success, you want to take 50 to 75 days till expiration because that just gives you more time to be correct on your bias for the stock. If you're bullish on Google and you're executing debit call spread, you're picking monthly expiration, 50 to 75 days till expiration because it gives you more time. And you select strike prices based on probability of success and analytics that we provide at Tradespoon, such as probability calculator that you can find if you go to tradespoon.com. And under my tools, you can select probability calculator or you can select stock forecast prices to find the most optimal strike price selection. So let's go through the example. Strike price selection. Here you see point A and point B. You buy at point A. X-axis is the stock prices, Y-axis is the profit loss. You buy point A, you sell strike at point B. Expiration months again, longer dated, we're looking at monthly expiration, 50 to 75 days. Maximum loss occurs at point A. If you're wrong and Google sells off lower than point A, you will lose money, but you're, that's your maximum loss is at point A. Your maximum gain is at point B. What is your break-even point? Well, your break-even point is the debit price that you paid, and that's where you see the x-axis intersecting the blue and the line. And obviously, it's a directional trade with the bullish bias. How do you calculate return on capital? Very important for debit spread. Well, the maximum gain is the difference in strike prices, the point A minus point B minus the original debit that you paid. What is your maximum loss? That's the original debit that you pay. Your original debit that you pay is the point A plus the premium, right? The, the, the premium that you paid for the debit spread. So your debit, your, the maximum loss occurs on the intersection of the x-axis and the blue line. That is your break-even point. 
Thank you very much. This is an introduction to more complicated strategies. This is, we just talked about a vertical, a debit call spread. You can find more information about different option strategies. If you visit our tradespoon.com site, you participate in the webinars every week. We have webinars on different topics and different strategies. You can also follow us and stay in touch by visiting tradespoon.com. We have a free trial where you can learn more about options trading, but also participate in our daily trade recommendations that we provide and follow us on social media. Thank you.